No, but the idea of the DVD that we're doing is is honest and pure. We're talking now and we're communi communicating what we feel to the people who are going to watch it. But also, the, uh, the, the, the bulk of it's going to be us playing live music on stage in front of an audience. And there's nothing wrong with that visually either. There's nothing uh, created about it after the event. It's, it's what happens at that moment in time. So, it? so it's going to be wonderful because of that. You know, it's when things are done artificially and it's all yeah, sort of fixed in the studio later that it, uh, it starts to be unreal and it looks and it sounds unreal. Some of those old, old records you talk about and some of the uh, old videos that are around, when you listen to the records, you can hear the room it was recorded in. You can hear the atmosphere of the room. And when you see some of those old tapes, you can see how wonderfully haphazard rock and roll used to be and how casually the people creating the music treated it. It was just a, it was like a, a comfy suit of clothes. You went on stage and you just, it was just right, you know? I think the, the popularity that Deep Purple has around the world, which is increasing all the time, I'm, I'm really pleased to say, um, is, is do, I think it's performance led. I don't think, of course, there's, there's some great songs that people want to want to hear. But uh, when people come to see Deep Purple, they know they're going to get a 100% a, a commitment to music show. We, it may be loud, it may be raucous, it may st and it's still rock and roll. But, but we, we know what we're doing by now. If I didn't know what I was doing by now, I'd, I'd be off, you know, uh, I'd be painting houses for a living or do whatever. I mean, but I'm still learning and I'm still, um, still having fun getting the best out of that Hammond organ that I can, you know. And I think people come to see us because they know that they're going to get genuine music. It's not about clothes. Um, as I've said before, it's not about what we're wearing. I mean, and God knows it's not about the way we look. I mean, you, you know, I mean, young people don't come to see us because they want to uh, use us as role models in uh, to how, to, how to dress or how to, you know, be. Uh, but they come to see us because, and we do get an enormous young audience. The good um, way of doing things is concerned. I think that um, having people crawling around on the stage, taking photographs of the bass drum and the fingers of John Lord is absolutely brilliant. I love that to death. Because, you know, for some reason, that is actually creative. And I don't mind tripping over cameramen. I don't mind tripping over leads and that sort of thing. Because you suddenly realize that something worthwhile might come out of this. People actually get to see something. Because you can't actually see John Lord's fingers when you're out front, unless you're sitting way up there, because <laughs> he stands behind his keyboard. So all you're seeing is this, you know, amazing looking guy. Um, just motion. Is just uh, into his music, but you can just see his arms moving and see the aura coming off him. I am pumped, but, but, but I'll tell you what I have, this is personal, I have to forget that you guys are there. Otherwise I become self-conscious. And I can't be self-conscious on stage. I have to be in the zone. I have to know, you know, just just be doing my job and and listening to Steve and listening to to the to the drummer. To, what's his name? Ian. That's right. Um, you know, I have to, uh, you know, be be aware of everything that's happening so that I can get it right. I want someone to say sixties. You guys pick among yourselves. I want to dress it to either of you. Well, I just look at one of us and pick a decade right. and see what comes out. Yeah. All right, Ian, the sixties. Sex. Seventies. Glorious musical anarchy. That's three. Roger, the eighties. Getting lost. <laughs> Ian, the nineties. Finding it again. Again? Mm. Say again? Finding it again. The nineties. The millennium. Just a word. Doesn't actually mean anything. As yet undefined. What's an inch? It's that. <laughs> What's 2,000 years? It's that. Doesn't mean anything. All right, we'll see you tonight on stage.
hopefully on stage. Actually, I'll be on stage. Well, actually, a bunch of you guys will be on stage too. Well, we'll see you tonight. Actually, it almost is tonight. See you in a while. In a little bit. Actually, when this tape is edited, we'll see you. Oh, no, actually, when you get the finished edited product or when it's downloaded from the internet. Anyway, we'll see you.